So I get to the door now, I knock on the door. And all I hear is, hello. I look down and I see some short man, you know, just standing by the door, bro. <laughs> what are you Was it the vicious door? <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit, you're kind of short. But he's like, uh, he tells me to come in. I'm like, all right, cool. So I prostrate. I come into the house. With the flow, but I take time. I'm too busy looking at the waistline. She moves when I car, don't waste time. Don't think too much, cause it takes life. She got waste men calling all day. But you know I only move with the sharks, eh? Couple, couple drinks on the table. The last wave had meerkats on their mind all day. She moves like she ain't got no problem. No problem. I ain't Yo, this is Fabs from Pastor Meerkat. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Blah. Let me tell you, man, about the time, yeah, when I nearly had a fight with my mum during prayer, like a physical fight. What? Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Nah, you're a demon, bro. You're a prayer warrior. <laughs> yeah. That's not what it's meant to be, you know? Yeah, but I can explain, though. Like, there was a time she came back from Nigeria, yeah, mm -hmm. and she was just, like, intensely religious. She stopped saying amen. She started saying ami. <laughs> <laughs> That's Yoruba. So, yeah, it's Yoruba, yeah. I'll, so I'll, I'll, just, I'll just be... I'll be sleeping, yeah. I'll be in a dream, and all I... The dream, it starts raining. I wake up, my mum's chucking oil. She's chucking water and oil. She's saying ami. Ami. Ami luruko jesu. Ami luruko jesu. That's what she said. Where's the bell? Where's the bell? <laughs> On me. These, time, home, these times I had eczema. You can't even be putting things on my It's just so mad. I wake up, I go to the mirror in the morning and I just see a cross. You know? <laughs> the oil cross. I don't remember it. I'm blessed. I'm going to the oil cross. It's not like it don't come off when you rub it. Yeah, it don't come off. It don't come off. It's blessed, sorry. <laughs> So she started moving mad. She was doing bare things. Like, she would start calling us, like, Bible names. Like, I've got bare names on my passport already. So just randomly, like, she's calling me down and she's like, Paul, <laughs> David, <laughs> Noah. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm not answering. I'm not answering. Like, you gave me enough names. Yeah, 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 that's not my name. That's, yeah. Use one of the names on the passport, exactly. at least. At least yeah. one of them. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not doing it because you're going through a, a phase. Because <laughs> you're going through your phase. So she takes me to this church, yeah, and in this church, yeah, the pastor was always doing too much. Always doing too much. You know, one of them guys will be like, You cannot excel unless the word is your PowerPoint. And, every, and everybody will start cheering. I'm there, I'm there like Charlemagne, like, No, nah, it's not here. I'm like, That's not it, man. That's not it. So there was one day he, he gathered all the youngsters, yeah, and he was like, Oh, everybody get in a circle. We're gonna pray until fire comes in the middle of the circle. <laughs> fire in the booth. I'm like, fire in the booth. I'm, I'm like, these times I'm in top six size. I'm like, bro, don't do this. Like, there's no, there's no bunsen burners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you know, Where's your appliances? I'm like, you don't have all the elements here to make fire. Like, I'm like, you got a BMW outside, don't do this. I said that for no reason. I just wanted the people to know that you've got a new <laughs> And Bessie, you just went with the door. <laughs> <laughs> my mumsy was pissing me off with all these antics. I said, I told my mum straight, you're too religious. She was like, ah, oh, I'm too, too religious. Too yeah. Religious. A week goes, a week come, goes by, yeah, we're in home cell now. Home cell is where everybody comes to your house to pray on a Friday night, yeah. Oh, like, there okay, people come. Okay, okay. So home cell, she's doing the closing prayer, yeah, and she's indirecting me. She's indirecting me. <laughs> Anybody in this house that thinks we are too religious, <laughs> burn them. <laughs> Purge them. <laughs> Listening to the prayer, I open my eyes. I'm thinking this is fighting talk. Like, so I get up in her face, like she she can't see me. She got her eyes closed, but I get up in her face, like, and then she, she has the audacity to be like, "Oh, okay, did you say grace?" No. So I'm vexed. I'm like, "May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore." Amen. My mom could feel the spit coming onto her face, which is. So obviously now, yeah, I've grown up in a Nigerian household. Mm -hmm. so, so one rule was, yeah, if you're going to someone's house, 
if they ask you for food, you have to say no. Yeah. Like, and that's the thing, you have to say no, it's not. If it's Crips. Yeah. What Crips? <laughs> Bloods? Bloods? <laughs> that's how that Jews are Crips. It's just, it, you got to say no. Yeah. So what, don't, what, don't eat at other people's yeah. house, the key rule. I was at my auntie's house, she's like, my son, are you hungry? I'm thinking, I want to say yes. Yeah. My mum was there, but she had her fist quenched. Quenched? Quenched? Quenched, quenched. She was headed quenched. <laughs> she was ready, she was ready, but obviously I was like, Auntie, I've already eaten, so I can't eat. But these times, I'm just starving. Oh, yeah. I'm Your belly's bare making noise. Talking in tongues, talking in tongues. Talking, in tongues. <laughs> talking the hardest. Yeah, like, for some reason, it's an abomination. You cannot eat in people's houses. Yeah. You can't. Yeah, yeah. So there was one time now, I once been on a Saturday, so I had Saturday school, yeah? So then after Saturday school, my mom normally picks me up. Yeah. But this week, she wasn't able to be. She was running late from work. So she was like, you know what? Stay at your auntie's house and I can't pick you up afterwards. I get to my auntie's house now and I'm just going, I can smell some sweet aroma. Yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, smells so nice. I go to the kitchen. She's cooking up a storm. Yes. She's cooking up, so I'm seeing jello fries, fried rice. Mm. I'm seeing chicken, <laughs> fish. So dope, I thought it was eight and five. Literally, I thought it was eight and five. I was like, whoa. I'm thinking, I've never tasted like my auntie's food before, but I know her food slacks. Cause when I saw her, her elbows are thick. So when you have them thick elbows, you know. Yeah, they're good. They know, they can do it. That's strong, that's strong triceps. That's strong, strong triceps. Like, they don't need gym. This way, they don't need gym. So, like, I was thinking, yo. Then she was like, my son, are you hungry? I was thinking, I must say, no. I'm cool, let me eat. I'm cool, let me eat. She's like, okay, don't worry, go help out in the, in the dining table. Get everything set. I was thinking, okay, cool. So, I'm getting ready to dish out. I'm very excited. Then afterwards, I hear the doorbell ringing. I forgot what I was. I forgot where I was. Cause I was thinking, who's ringing the doorbell at this time? Like we're having family dinner over here. Like why are you ringing the doorbell? So then I realised this is my mum. Obviously, my mum's red because she sees me with food in my hand. Like yeah, that's right. yeah literally, <laughs> literally. I was like, and obviously my aunt was a bit petty. She was like, ah, oh, you want to join us? So I'm like, why are you gonna do that? That's gonna trigger her. She was thinking, oh yeah, guys, let's go. We are going to the car. I was thinking, even get a chance to eat, that's the most saddest part. And the scariest thing is, when I got to the car, my mom was fuming. Like, when she's angry, she doesn't make sense what she's saying. She's thinking, Derek, how many times I told you not to eat in people's house? Are you blind? I was thinking, I wanted to, I wanted to correct her, but I'm too scared. I was too scared to correct her. I was thinking, no, I'm not blind. I'm not blind, I'm not blind. So my ex was putting pressure on me, she's like, We've been together for a while. Yeah. It's time to meet my dad. Yeah. Bro, I was making all the excuses, bro. I was thinking, fuck this, bro. I don't want to do this, bro. You got delayed. You got delayed. I want to delay it, innit? So I'm like, listen, babe, I ain't got a fresh trim, you know, barber, you know? Yeah. I have to wait six months before I could get a trim, innit? So I'm like, I, 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 I was like, you know what? You know what's even funny, yeah? I, I didn't even talk to my dad, so I didn't expect me to talk to your dad. I don't talk to my dad, fam. Uh, bro, I even said I'm allergic to dads, bro. Dads give me spots, bro. They, they make me break dad out, bro. They make me but she, she put her foot down and she's like, no, you got to meet my dad, didn't it? Yeah. So I'm like, all right, cool. And I'm just sitting there thinking to myself, what the fuck am I going to say to her dad? Like, the only words I say to my dad is, good morning, here's your lottery ticket, <laughs> and good night, bro. So I get to the door now, I knock on the door. And all I hear is, hello. I look down and I see some short man, isn't it, just standing by the door, bro. <laughs> We did. Yes, was it the vicious door? <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, you're kind of short. But he's like, huh? he tells me to come in. I'm like, alright, cool. So I prostrate. I come into the house. Your prostrate must have been low. No, I had to be low. I had to be low. So I go into the living room now. He tells me to take a seat. But he's still standing. So I'm thinking, I don't know if he's trying to be the same height as me or if it's an intimidation. You know, psychologist. Then. He's trying to intimidate me. So I'm like, alright, cool. Tells me, yeah, take a seat. And he's like, oh, so nice, nice to finally meet you. <laughs> huh? So how did you and my daughter meet? Uh, so so I, I'm like to him, oh, what a brilliant question, uncle. Um, so <laughs> your daughter, as you know, um, she's a very, she's a very beautiful woman. Um, we both attended the same college, you know, and we both studied the same subjects, maths, economics, and physical education. Mm, I'm, I'm sure um, you did. Wow. Yeah, we did, we did, we did. So I was like, the way we met is like, when we were in class and the teacher used to ask us questions, we both used to put our hands up at the same time to answer those questions. It's so romantic, Synchronized uncle. Synchronised learning. Synchronised learning, learning, you know? Yeah. You know? And we used to go to library together. 
we used to study together, uncle. And he was like, oh, good, good, good. I like that one. I like that. I like that. I like that. In the back of my head, I'm thinking, nigga, all we, all we done was physical education. Oh, <laughs> he was educated. I was educated. <laughs> I got a lot of brains. A lot of... <laughs> Next thing I know, he's like, oh, so what do you do for work? I'm like, uncle, that's a brilliant question, uncle. <laughs> I actually work in banking, Uncle. He's like, mm, mm, I like that one. <laughs> like then he's like to me, okay, um, so what, what, state, what state are your parents from? Uncle, I'm going to be honest, I, I don't know. I don't know. It, it's like, you don't know where your parents are from? Disappointing. Disappointing. I was getting vexed, bro. So I'm not going to lie to you, man. You might know I get heated quite easily. Yeah, we know, we know, we know. You might know. So I stood up, bro. I stood up. I looked down at him. I was like, I did want to switch at him. I didn't switch at him. I was like, Uncle, bro, don't worry. Don't worry, my brother. I'm going to look after your daughter. Yeah? <laughs> my brother. <laughs> I'm towering over him. So he looks up at me. He's like, oh, you're, you're quite tall. You're quite tall. You're quite tall. Anyway, I left the house and then she dumped me. I don't know why. Oh, shit. A couple of weeks later, she dumped me. Yeah. <laughs> you need to pick up your robot, fam. <laughs> Yo, it's Manny from Past the Meerkat. Make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe. No problem. no problem. I ain't got no problem. I move, I ain't got no problem. No problem. Cause we ain't got no problem. We move, we ain't got no problem. No problem. I ain't got, I, ain't got. I move, I ain't got no problem. No problem. We ain't got no problems, no problems. Lingo. No lingo. Hot gals down for the lingo. Had meerkats on her mind all day. In the club, you might catch me with Tim though. Might catch me with Vish on the end, so Buy me shotgun, riding with Benz though Say I want to spend time with my friends, no See a hot girl whining with Pedro See a hot girl whining with Faith though I ain't pray for the girl in the grey coat Your boy's nice, what I can't get a name, no E-man, but we all calling rage though Had meerkats on their mind all day With Maddie on the stage, so find, find all of my guys on the payroll. She moves like she ain't got. I ain't got. I move, I ain't got. Cause we ain't got. We move, we ain't got. I ain't got. I move, I ain't got.